Hey there, Ben here with BSL Nutrition. Today I wanted to address the question of whether or not the Complete Essentials has protein in it. Um, so it's a very good question. It's been coming up a lot lately and so I wanted to elaborate on the fact that Complete Essentials really is um, all nine essential amino acids. So when we talk about a protein, a protein is made up of somewhere around 20-ish amino acids. Now nine of those 20 are considered, considered essential amino acids. And they're considered essential because the body can't make them and therefore we need to get them from food. Examples of food that contain amino acids, specifically the essential amino acids, are pretty much animal proteins, dairy sources of protein, and then we would talk, be talking about plant-based sources, but most plant-based sources do not contain all of the essential amino acids in one. For example, uh, rice and beans, together they form more of a complete protein, um, but separately they would not have all nine of the essential amino acids. So the Complete Essentials is a protein source, it's a very good protein source and a complete protein source because it has all nine of those essential amino acids. So it would be very similar to taking a whey protein powder or a casein protein or um, even a plant-based protein like a rice and a pea protein powder, but better because it has more leucine. And leucine is one of the essential amino acids that those plant-based sources do not contain very much of. Um, so understand that this would be a great product to utilize in place of a whey and or in addition to one of those other protein powders. Now, it's important to understand that when it comes to protein, most people do not get enough protein into their into their diet. In fact, um, the statistics show that only about 17%, and this is this is the standard American diet, only about 17% of the standard American diet of those calories come from protein. And that means that the remaining 83% are coming from fat and carbohydrate, and more often than not, those are more saturated fat sources, more trans fat sources, and also more refined carbohydrate sources. And so it's in everyone's uh, best interest, specifically athletes, specifically people that are weight training or exercising even consistently because they have more protein breakdown because of the exercise, they need to be consuming more protein in their diet. Now the recommendations for fat loss, for muscle maintenance, to say nothing of muscle building, should really be around 30% of our daily caloric intake should be coming from protein intake. And so whatever people can be doing to increase their daily protein intake is going to be really important, which is where the complete essentials come in. So it doesn't even necessarily need to be a, a pre and intra or post workout product, but also can be a product just to help boost those daily protein intake needs. Um, for example, something that a lot of people are enjoying is consuming the complete essentials, not only around their workout, but also consuming a couple scoops mid-afternoon as an example just as a snack um, and as a way to kind of create some satiety, uh, decrease hunger, increase energy, increase cognitive function, and then of course contribute to those protein needs. Um, and then the last thing I'll touch on in regards to protein intake is our absorption and digestibility is really important to understand and the reason the essential amino acids in free form. So the free form amino acids are basically unbound. So they um, act in isolation. And what that means is as compared to a whey protein, whey protein has what's called peptide bonds. And these are um, amino acids that are bound together to create peptides. And it doesn't make it good or bad. All it means is that the body has to undergo more digestion to break down those peptide bonds the free form amino acids are unbound. And what that means in terms of absorption and digestion is that they are very quickly um, digested, absorbed, and pushed into the bloodstream, pushed into the muscle cells to be utilized as fuel for energy and for recovering, uh, working and recovering muscles. And so those are the benefits of why, the com why we created the Complete Essentials to be utilized in and around your workout is so that we can maximize blood flow and absorption of those proteins 
uh, immediately to the blood and to the muscles, as opposed to consuming a whey or a casein or something that has peptide bonds that need to be broken down first, which would delay their absorption. So it's a very fact acting, acting source of protein. I hope that answers your question as to whether or not the Complete Essentials is in fact a protein. Of course it is. I explained why. And um, I will look forward to talking to you again at the next uh, BSL Q&A. Thanks so much and have a great day.